Hello, in this video we will demonstrate how to set up Always Sync to automatically synchronize your files. First, let's get the program. You can get it at www.allwaysync.com. Click download and choose either the 64 or 32 bit package. I chose the 64 because I have a 64 bit version of Windows. If you do, choose this. If not, get the other package. Either way, it should work. Now, once the program is installed and running, launch it. The program will look like this. Now, I have two jobs already set up called pictures and music. They synchronize my pictures and they synchronize my music file. Notice music. It takes it synchronizes the folder D colon slash music to the directory M colon slash music. In this case D is my data drive on my computer and M is my external drive. I have it configured so when my external drive is plugged in it'll do an automatic synchronization and match the folders. Let's give it a quick demonstration. I will plug in my external drive. Well, it's taking a few seconds to recognize my external drive. Let's demonstrate how to go over and set up your own jobs. Uh, so you can see it's already starting to synchronize and all I did was connect my drive. So to create a new job, you go job, add new job. At this point you will want to give it a title. So you can right click on it and go rename job. From here, name it something useful. Say if you want to back up pictures, call it pictures. If you're backing up your music, call it music. Let's say we want to back up our documents, so we call it documents. Now we have documents. Now this part you have to tell it what exactly you're going to be synchronizing. It defaults to Windows folder but you can choose a movable drive, network folder, archive or encrypted archive, FTP server, SFTP server, Amazon F3, offsite box, and web dev. Let's choose Windows folder because that's probably what we're going to use. Now click the browse button and choose the folder that you want to sync. In this case we we'll choose the ISO folder as a demonstration. Now you change the direction you want to sync. If you're trying to sync the folders for you know, constant use between two computers or something, you probably should leave it as is. But we're going to do data backup and so we select one way sync. Everything that's changed in the, our initial folder gets changed in our new folder but nothing gets deleted so we don't lose anything. Now, again, we select another folder for our destination. And we're going to call it ISO 2. And you're OK. Now, we have set up our sync job. Now, when the first time you run the program, you click Analyze. It'll say that there are substantial differences in the folder. That's because it's our first time running and you hit ignore. It'll tell you how many new files there are, how many unchanged files there are, and how many files there are total. If this all is acceptable to you, hit synchronize and it will synchronize. If it's not acceptable, this hit clear and it will remove the job from the queue. In this case, I'm not going to synchronize because it would be pointless. Now, If you go to View Options, you have you can set up automatic synchronization. In this case, I have have checked automatically check for software updates and start application in system notification area on system startup. This will automatically launch the program. With these two boxes checked, it should keep your program up to date and always running so that you so that it will do you know your auto synchronization. Now, under default profiles make sure that the if it's not expanded hit the checkbox 
If it's already expanded, that's great. Now I'll go down to the Rubik's Cube icon. In this case, let's do Documents, because that's the one where these did. Hit the plus sign, and go down to Automatic Synchronization. On the right hand side, we have some options. On my other two jobs, I set it to Automatically Sync when Removal Drive is Connected. This works great if you're using an external drive. You can also select a time period when file changes are detected when the computer is idle on application start before log off or use Windows Task Scheduler. Any of these items should work for you and you're welcome to change your settings anywhere you want. Then the next under here we also have synchronization rules. It basically sets some advanced rules for the program inclusion and exclusion filters unless you're a power user you probably want to leave these alone file revisioning tells you what to do when it finds a new file whether it deletes it from the old source or keeps it or keep that the same then you have error handling it tells you what to do you can just leave that alone now you've set up your backup job the only thing you have to do next is to select the real directories you're going to use my example of c colon iso and c colon iso slash iso2 will not work for your system so you have to figure out where your files are stored and where you want them to back up where you want to back them up to you but if you do this this program can make backing up simple and easy and fast and doesn't take up a lot of disk space because it only moves the new files so if you back up your entire drive and then you change one file next time it only backs up that one file and you don't have to go through the long backup process again. That was my quick tutorial on Always Sync. Hope you enjoyed it.